good. Mate, it was an absolute corker. Um, same as a perler. Absolute perler. Uh, you know, something that's good is a humdinger. A humdinger. Yeah. Like ding. <coughs> like I'm a bit crook at the moment. You're sick. Mm. It's a bit oh. of a, that's a bit of a, and I paused. Oh, it's a bit over. People Not are over it. I didn't say beaver. <laughs> <laughs> this is how our conversation are most of the time. <laughs> I'm like, what? Like the other day, yeah. funny story. Mm. Uh, my mom. Okay, Timo's dad was trying to tell my mom a story about a cow. A cow. Oh, a cow, yeah. And my mom was like, cow? <laughs> I said, mama. Yeah, do you have um, do you have cows in in the backyard uh, in Kenya still? You know, she goes kale, yeah, kale and spinach, and you know we have all, all kinds. I go, no, 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 a cow. And she goes kale. I go no, no, no cow. She goes kale. Kale. I go, <laughs> and I found her. I was outside. Yeah. So when I came, so in, comes back in and goes ngombe, ngombe ma, ngombe. <laughs> Welcome to today's video. My name is Zippy. We shall be going through some, some Aussie slang and I'll invite my guest for the day. We learn together. But before that, guys, I want to say a big, big thank you to each and every one of you for subscribing and for watching my content all the time. Guys, I see you and I say a big thank you. So for those who are new, my name is Zippy and I do content around homemaking, DIY and just life in general. Anything that I find interesting, I'm documenting. Also, I'm doing some new mom videos here and there. So guys, more content coming. And for the OG ones, thank you so much. I see you and keep subscribing, keep watching and let's get to the video. So, so guys, welcome let's welcome my visitor for the day as usual Javi timo let's get started so it's just um aussie slang and how you might use it in a sentence because usually you'll just see words there especially like a back backstory when i was coming to australia we were given a list of uh mm. some aussie slang that you may find useful but just li just reading the list you can't know Without how an explanation yeah or yeah. knowing how to use it in a sentence it kind of gets Mm. Confuse, confusing so now mm. my visitor we are privileged let's okay get started cool. so first on the list is ice good it's generally good if something's good it's just it's ice um other words for good um bonza um cuda um scooter not scooter cuda cuda Cuda, like um, Cuda. If you, if it's really good, you could say Cuda McGrath, which why I have no idea. It's just a thing. It's just an Aussie thing. Cuda McGrath. Um, yeah. Cuda McGrath. Or if something is very good, it could be um, just the coots. Hey, <laughs> okay. Um, and if something is the pinnacle, it's the coots of coots. It's Hang like on. the best of the best. So pinnacle is like excellent, excellent, yeah. super duper excellent. <clears throat> yeah, like best of the best. Uh -huh. The coots of coots. Coots of coots. Yeah. So my channel is getting to the coots of coots. <laughs> yeah. Does that make sense? You could say that. It's yeah. getting excellent day by day. I, I guess so, yeah. I'm going to gas myself up. <laughs> yeah. um, so got ankle biter as a small child because they're around your ankles. Um, ah. Yeah, so ankle biter, like they bite your ankles. But um, another name, um, kids would be little tackers. Little tackers, yeah. Um, <clears throat> you know the um, yeah, little tackers. Um, my dad used to call us kidlets. I don't think that's um, kidlets like piglets. Uh, that's yeah. <laughs> I think that's just my dad. That's probably not especially Australian. But, yeah. but you know, you know what. Uh, Uncle Baitas, your dad over yeah. the weekend, he he was like, he's going to be, he called him an uncle, he called my son an uncle Baita. And I was like, what does that mean? And then oh, he explained, <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, it makes sense. He explained like he'll be biting your ankles. Your ankle, yeah. Like you move to the toilet, your baby's at your feet. Uncle mm. Baitas. So we have one <clears throat> uncle Baita. 
We do. Mm-hmm. And he's getting to that stage. Do you guys have uncle biters? Do you have kids? Yeah. Interesting. Mm. Mm-hmm. So another one for another one for good. Actually, I should have um, I should have thought of this. Mm-hmm. It's um, on the list. Apples. Apples. Yeah, if something's apples, it's good. Like an apple, but with yes. an S. Yeah, more than one apple. Oh, you guys are apples. Mm. You're good to me. Thank you. Yeah, but um, if something's very good, uh-huh. it's apples and pears. Mm. Apples and pears is very mm. good. Yeah, well, they're sweet. I hope you guys are mm. taking notes. Um, so they also say she's apples um, or she'll be apples. That's, yeah. She'll be apples either. Yeah, she'll like be she, good. She's apples or she'll be apples. Um, okay, that's a new one. I've never heard okay. of it. She'll yeah. be apples. Either. Yeah, she'll be apples. And apples and pears. Apples and pears. Yes, apples and pears. Good. I'm guessing they're, you know, sweet, good sweet together. fruit. Yeah, sweet fruit. Um, Arvo. <clears throat> I think we've we've gone think, through Arvos in yeah. our, yeah. Generally, Australians will put O on the end of um, things. that uh, They cut a word in half and then add an O. That's, yeah. But not like the Nigerian way, or ga or... No, no, not like that. <laughs> it's an Irish thing, actually. Um, the... The adding it's, avo, there's yeah. avocado, you say an avo. Yeah. An arvo with an r yeah. is an afternoon. Well, yeah. Avo being afternoon. Mm-hmm. Avo being mm-hmm. avocado. Savo being the service yeah. station. Servo being service station. What else? I'm or, trying to not think. Not that you get a service at a petrol station anymore, but yeah. Uh, is it, is well, that Maybe what? 30 years ago, you used to be able to service your car at a petrol station. Or a lot of mechanics had you know, petrol pumps out the front of their shop, so. Is that yeah. why it's called a service? Uh, yeah, because it's where we used to go to get uh, get a car serviced. Oh. So, servo, service station. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Oh, interesting, add, I never knew that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's kind of common to shorten the yeah. word. Timothy, Timo, which I think that's um. Mm. your name, Timothy. Yeah. It's a Timo, I mean, yeah. it's Timo. But I guess that's... My, my brothers. steve Yeah, my dad, Chris-O. chris yeah. yeah, it's kind of common here, but yeah. you get the gist. Yeah, this is funny. Mm-hmm. Um, so, Australian flies are more persistent than flies on other continents. Um, I've been to, I've been to Australia, I mean, lived in in, in Australia, obviously. Mm-hmm. Um, been to North America, I've mm-hmm. been to um, East Africa, mm-hmm. been to Southeast Asia. Mm-hmm. And the flies mm-hmm. are nowhere near as persistent um, in, in those other nations that I've been to. Mm-hmm. So the Aussie salute is, really? because the flies are so persistent, you have to just constantly do this. Oh, actually, when I was at Ayers Rock... Mm-hmm. Um, what is Ayers Rock? Oh, that's... Ayers Rock in, mm-hmm. in Northern Territory. Oh, yeah. Um, it's one of the seven wonders of the world, darling. We said in our previous video that we were going to go. Is that where the red thing is? It is red, the red... yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Anyway, when I was at Ayers Rock, mm-hmm. I saw someone wearing a beekeeper's mask um, <laughs> with, the, with the mesh netting around their face because they were just that over the flies. The flies are so persistent. They're just mm-hmm. constantly at you, and it's just... It is irritating, but... Is that only during summer? Because I don't see flies. No, here. in the suburbs though. There's too mm. many cans of fly spray. Is that during when there's barbecues no, and but stuff? It, or? Like, oh, if there's a barbecue. It's going to be... <laughs> it's out of control, but not so much in the city, you know. Oh, in, in the, the country, In the country, yeah. In the country, mm. in the summertime, mm. flies will drive you mad. Okay, so um, the Aussie salute. So, the yeah, Aussie salute is like this. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Let me know the Aussies in the house. Is yeah. that is that your salute, guys? Yeah. But today, another thing in yeah. Kenya, the flies. It depends on where you are. Oh, okay. The flies, especially if you're having barbecue, or oh, oh, I think I your mean, Aussie salute is gonna be like this. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But I mean, that's. Oh, the Kenyan salute, not the Aussie. Yeah, mm-hmm. but um, yeah. Well, we'll go to we'll go to Northern Territory. Mm-hmm. And then we'll go to that part of Kenya that you talked about and we'll compare. We'll compare. Fair we'll, enough. We'll make a video. Out and we'll get back to you guys and tell yeah. you what, we'll see. what the difference is. Yeah. yeah. The back so of something, something that's a very, very long way away is mm-hmm. the back of Burke. 
I'd, you know, if you've gone on a long trip, mm -hmm. <clears throat> especially if the person you're talking to doesn't know where you're talking about, you just ask the back of Burke, mate. You know, it's like it's the same as a black stump. Oh, way out past the black stump. What is that black stump? Like the stump of a tree. Oh, because it's way far down on the ground. No, hmm. it's just <laughs> there's no logic to it. It's just an expression. The black stump is, you know, it's just a long way away. Oh, it's near the black stump, mate. You know, it's miles and miles away. It's a long, long way away. I have to confess, some of these things, they go in through this, yeah, and come out through the other one. <laughs> but is this like um, slang that you will use with your friends or family? Yeah, yeah. You can yeah. use the back of black, back of Burke. Yeah, back of Burke, yeah. If you're saying, if you're explaining, hypothetically, if you're explaining where where something something is, mm -hmm. And you say, you know, it's way out near, blah, blah. And the person doesn't understand, understand. they don't know. Mm -hmm. You say, ah, it's the back of Burke, mate. You know, it's, it's a long way. It's not worth explaining because they, they don't know what you're talking about. Just go, okay. it's the back of Burke. It's a long way. You know, That's a good one. Too far. It's, it's a black, black stump. <laughs> way out past the black stump, you know. It's That's a good one. That's I like that one. Okay. Because if you ask me, where are you from? I'm from the back of Burke. Oh, yeah, the back of Burke. Yeah, Kuna That's Barabran. A, a cook, what? That's another one, Kuna Barabran. I can't even remember where Kuna Barabran is. It's so far out. It's a very, very remote town. In in Australia? Yeah, it's in Australia. Kala, what is it? Kuna Barabran. Kuna Barabran. I don't even know what state it's in. I know it's it's in it's a regional, regional area. And it's very far away? It is, yeah. 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 Okay, that's a, that's a good one. I like that one too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> And as he checks, another thing that I love about the Aussie, okay, not that I love about the Aussie slang, uh, one thing to note, use your eye, okay? Mm, yeah, there we go, yeah. Okay, one thing to note all, I mean, one thing I note is that the Aussie slang doesn't change very often. Because, oh, yeah. mm. you know, in comparison to the Kenyan slang, it changes with the generation. Because now my younger brother, who is in his early 20s or late yeah, he's in his 20s, I think, early 20s. Mm. He picks up on me when I speak slang because my slang is way outdated. Mm. And the new slang right now, if the new kids are talking, you'll just be like, what? I can't get anything. So mm. the Aussie one is constant. Like, yeah, it doesn't yeah. change so often. And it's... It is changing now, um, basically just being forgotten. It's not so much, you know, they're just young kids these days, more and more American because of TV. But, you know. Yeah. So, mm. this video, may we never forget the Aussie slang. Mm. <laughs> okay, let's keep going then. Okay, next one. A Barbie I know, barbecue. Barbie, I guess Barbie in America is a, is a, is a Barbie child's doll. toy, but <laughs> um, yeah, Barbie in Australia is a barbecue. Let's, let, let, chuck a Barbie on, mate. So, yeah, chuck on a Barbie, yeah. Chuck on a Barbie, mate. <laughs> okay, yeah, I think yeah. barbecue, Barbie, I don't know why I find that explanatory but i think no no oh self-explanatory yeah, yeah but oh, that's okay. me maybe because i've had it so many times it's normal but if you didn't know a barbecue a barbie let's chuck a barbie on the big smoke i didn't think this was really australian i thought that was you know I, yeah the big smoke the big smoke uh -huh. is a large city why would you call a large city a big smoke i didn't think that was australian i thought that was you know i thought everyone used that one a big, sorry, excuse me, a yeah, big the, smoke for... the big smoke. Yeah. The big smoke is a big city. Yeah, it's a big city. I never, I don't think it's everyone. I think it's Aussie. Okay. Yep. I never heard of it. The list says it's Aussie, so yes. So yeah. a <clears throat> big smoke. Yeah, I live in a big smoke. We do, live, we live in the big smoke. Yeah, yeah, the big smoke or a big smoke? The. It's the big smoke yeah. of Australia? Well, not really. Melbourne. It's not the biggest, but yeah. Melbourne's second largest city. Uh, Sydney is the largest? Yeah. Okay, so we live in the second big smoke. Second biggest big smoke. Oh, the second yeah. biggest big smoke of Australia. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's uh, a new one to me. Oh, food. Here we go. Bicky. So, oh yeah, go on. Yeah, okay. Um, what the Americans, okay, so what the Americans call a cookie, we call a biscuit. And of course, Aussies have abbreviated it, so it's a Bicky. So, I'm not going to add anything to that. So, mm. a cookie is a bicky. 
And so what we call a scone, the Americans call a biscuit. Scones? Yeah, scones. Really? Like the, yeah, the English scone. That's what the Americans call a biscuit. I don't think they eat it. They they eat them more as a savoury thing as a, on the side of a main meal, though, mm. where we have it as a sweet, same as the English do. Really? Yeah. I just thought I would say scones, we call it the gorge. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's got their own name for it. Anyway, yeah, okay. So what Americans call... Um, <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what Americans call a scone, you call it a biscuit? Hmm? No, no, no. Hmm. What what we call... Yeah, what they call a biscuit, we call a scone. Mm -hmm. What they call a cookie, we call a biscuit. And, and Aussies abbreviate to a bicky. To a bicky. Okay. Yeah. Let's have a bicky. Yep. Yeah. Sounds like a bikey, but it's a bicky. Yeah, Bicky. Mm. A billabong. I don't reckon many kids these days would know what a billabong is. A beer bong? Billabong? Billa. Yeah, billabong. Billabong. It's um, a beer. Well, it's, a, it's a brand, actually. It's a brand of clothing. But uh, billabong is... I remember as a kid, mm -hmm. um, uh, our property was on the uh, Mount William Creek. Mm -hmm. Or that was our that was our border. Mm -hmm. um, it was the Mount William Creek. We were at the base of Mount William and the creek ran down at one of our borders. Mm -hmm. So, um, we'd go fishing in there, mm -hmm. um, when the creek would in the, in springtime, I guess, maybe into summer mm -hmm. when the creek would stop flowing, mm -hmm. it would go, it would form a series of billabongs. It's so it's a long body of water mm -hmm. when the creek dries up mm -hmm. and the water stops flowing mm -hmm. a long body of water. Mm -hmm. It's called a billabong. Um, and the fish, I feel like I've told this story before on one of your videos. No, I don't think so, because it's new to me. Okay, anyway. Unless I forgot. Mm -hmm. um, so the fish would get really hungry because mm -hmm. the water's not flowing. And then, um, so there's just, as the water dries up, mm -hmm. there's just more and more fish in a smaller and smaller, oh, sorry. There's the same number of fish in a smaller and smaller body of water. Yeah. And they eat up all the food. And then you get to the point where anything you throw in the water, they go for it. Mm -hmm. So I casted, the best I ever did was 14 casts, 14 fish. It was oh, it's just so you... cast, catch, cast, catch, oh. cast, catch, cast, catch. It was the best. But, yeah, um, every summer the creek would billabong uh -huh. and we'd just... Um, so is that that's a slang, billabong? Uh, slang, I guess, because it's not... If you say billabong to pretty much anyone outside of Australia, they're not going to know what that is. So I guess it's Aussie slang. Billabong. So a billabong is a, is a section in a lake or whatever. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's happened for us as the creek would... Um, you know, the flow of the water would stop. Billabong. In, yeah, in the creek, but it could be in a river. You know, is that even English? It, you know, it might be a native Australian word. Um. Yeah, because we've got like um, we've got a few words like yarn mm -hmm. to to chat. Yarn. Yarn. Not the knitting like, yarn. Yeah, the same spelt the same, spoken the same, but mm -hmm. to chat. Mm -hmm. That's a, like, that's an Aboriginal word, yeah. It's one of the. It's a native word. I'm not sure Koori or Murray. I don't know what tribe, but it's, yeah, ah, to have conversation. Like, like their word for conversation is yarn. Like we are yarning now. Yep, having having a yarn. Having, we're having yeah. a yarn, not yarning now. Well, that's that's another one too. Have a yak. Aussies say that. Have, have a, a yak? yarn or a yak. Yak, as in the animal, spelt and pronounced the same, but you're talking. You spell it yak, like yak. Oh, that's another. <laughs> that's another one. Yeah. Um, yak is another um, Aussie slang for throwing up. Is that Aussie? Do you think that's Aussie slang? To yak? To yak. Ah, to yak it up. Uh, I know to spew. That's... Yeah, that's what I'm saying. To throw up. To yak. No, I think in Kenya, my English, had, I wouldn't say to yak, but it kind of makes sense. If you say yak, you'll know your Because okay. it's yak. It's, it's funny disgusting. that we have we have two meanings for the same word and it's... It's slang. <laughs> that, that's that's uniquely Australian too. Oh. You have two slang meanings for the same word, and I guess you just got to figure, figure, out figure it you... out by the context. Yeah, how you're using yeah. it in the sentence. Guys, yeah. we are learning. I'm learning some of these things I've never heard before. Mm. And it's I, I can tell it's taking you down memory, yeah, me it is. memory lane. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Bloody oath. I think saying, saying that... Mm -hmm. That's Australian. Well, bloody to say oath. bloody bloody oath, uh -huh. um, or my oath. My oath. My oath. It's 
You're saying, you're saying absolutely. It's it's a certainty. It's it's I I know how to use that in a sentence. Mm. It's like, did you get paid, bloody hell? Yeah, did you get paid, or is this going to happen? What do you think about this? Do you think he's going to win, bloody oath? Bloody oath. Bloody oath, mate. And you have to say it with bloody oath. <laughs> no, but, um, bloody what's, oath. Um, what's the other one? Bloody oath or uh, bloody oath or my oath? My oath. My oath. That's probably my dad's generation. Possibly even uh, guys that are probably eighty nowadays, mm -hmm. eighty, ninety. Mm -hmm. That's that was. That's what. That was a clean way of saying because bloody, bloody used to be a swear word. It is still is. It's sort of, kinda, yeah. But I think it still it it still it yeah. it. St it, you get what I'm trying to say. It's still, if you say bloody hell, it's still it's, a yeah. swear word. But I guess, yeah. you're More yeah. forgiving. Slightly, yeah. Slightly forgiving than the but other But, yeah, ones. the same as, um, I mean, <laughs> as the generations um, got more and more debauched, mm -hmm. um, you know, debauched. my oath to bloody oath to Gnoth. Um, Gnoth? No, F-U-C-K-I-N-G. Uh, oof. Oof. Mm -hmm. Um... Yeah, I mean, as the generations get more and more debauched, that's... What is debauched? Debauched. Um, just loose. Oh, they're losing it. Okay, yep. Debauched. Is I wonder that... if that... Is that Aussie slang? Loose? Loose. Loose being a term for something getting wild. No. More and... You're losing it. No, oh. no, no. Loose, as in my socks are loose. That they're coming like, off? You, yeah, they're not fitting well. No, that's not Aussie. Because you say, just... my sweater is getting loose. No, no, no. Mm. Aussie, to, to say something, if something is wild, Aussie mm. say it's loose. Like, his, oh, like if, if you've got a friend, you mean, if you've yeah. got a friend who's um, a bit of a wild cat when he drinks, uh -huh. you say um, they're loose. He's a loose unit. Aussies will say he's a loose unit. Oh, mate, he's, uh -huh. he's a unit, that bloke. He's a, he's a loose unit. I think it is. Yeah, in that's, Kenya, I'm pretty sure that's Aussie slang. I'm pretty sure that doesn't span the rest of the Western world, you know? Could be, could be. You let us know, guys. But I think in Kenya or in my, in my, like, are people around my age group, mm -hmm. if you think someone is loose, you more, have another meaning. It's more towards, like, their sexual habits? Yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah, if you, if you say someone is loose, that's it. You mean... Yeah. In Australia, if someone's a loose unit, mm -hmm. it's more to do with uh, their probably not not to do with sexual habits. Mm -hmm. More to do, I'd say, to do with drinking habits. Mm -hmm. And if it's not to do with drinking, you'd probably say they're just um, you know they possibly break the law. Their character or, is wild, yeah, a like bit of a wild crazy. character. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The name for a fly is a blowy. Because it's blowing. No, because. I guess, I, I don't know if it's strictly Australian, but um, so on farms, mm -hmm. when flies have laid maggots um, on a sheep mm -hmm. and the maggots are eating the sheep alive, mm -hmm. the the sheep is fly blown. Like blown as in past tense blow. Mm -hmm. um, so then the flies that lay those maggots uh, known as blowflies mm -hmm. um, and then you shorten it down from blowfly to blowy. Okay. Too complicated, so, but... <laughs> anyway, yeah, I mean, th again, this is an explanation. <laughs> I didn't get it, I'm but... just, yeah, I'm just explaining the best way I know how. So, yeah, blowy as a blowfly. Um, so, blowy is a fly, like... I know, a, a, yeah, yeah, a, a fly, but it's a kind of the bigger flies that lay maggots because the smaller oh. ones, the smaller ones won't. Um, yeah, the smaller ones won't uh, lay maggots, lay maggots. On, on a sheep, for example, or, okay. or a, you know, on a, a dead animal or whatever. You know, mm. the smaller ones don't do that. The, so that's the bigger ones, and they're noisier. The yeah, yeah, yeah the big the ones. big yeah, the big ones that are noisy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's more of a slang. That that's that that slang is more for the countryside. Probably because we don't in the city. We don't. I've noticed we don't really get as many bigger many, flies. Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, uh, bludger. This is this is another virtually dead saying. People don't say this much. Bludger. So. Um, bludger. You 
Yeah, so B L U D G E R. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a bludger. Someone who's just lazy. Really? Never yeah. heard of that one. Yeah. You're just a bludger at work. Yeah. Someone who just just simply lazy. <laughs> just okay. Just a bludger. And it's it's well traditionally to be lazy in Australia was the cardinal sin. Okay. Yeah, we're you know we were we were a very hardworking nation, but I um, think it still is. Yeah, I think yeah, generally hardworking, but um, mm. yeah. Um, so a bludger is mm-hmm. a lazy person. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Learning a bludger. Yeah. Bludger. Oh, bog in. <laughs> this is a good one. Bog in. Bog in. That's eat. It's like eat now. Bog in. Bog in. You yeah. know, if I if I drop some food on the table, mm-hmm. it's oh. don't wait for ceremony, people. Bog in. Okay. <laughs> yeah. It's like they um, when I was growing up, kids would um, uh, they had okay. We want to say grace. Mm-hmm. Go, okay, two, four, six, eight. Bog in. Don't wait. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's. Yeah. Is that the the grace? That was that was kids in primary school saying grace. Yeah. Okay. Two, four, six, eight. Bog in. Don't wait. So bog in. Do you still use it? Uh, around dad, I would. Around you know. Your around friends. with my family, with my friends. Yeah. 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 I wouldn't. Uh, yeah. Like um, you wouldn't say bog in with me. I'll be like. No. Bog in. No, it sounds like you want to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. no. Yeah. Um, yeah, uh, so it says Bonza again, but that's great. Another one's Ripper, is it? I know, a Ripper. Ripper is good. Oh, not to rip you off? No. A Ripper would have been someone who is trying to get more oh, expensive okay. things, like to say you, to rip you off generally. I would have thought that's a Ripper. No. Ripper is so, if so, Yeah, Ripper is... Um, I don't know where it comes from, but mm-hmm. it's a ripper. It's great. It's good. Fantastic. Wow. So many. Oh, what a ripper. <laughs> yeah. So, so many. Yeah, I think that sounds familiar. Yeah. So many oh, things. You're a little ripper. <laughs> you, know, you win, you win a, you know, you win the, the meat tray at the, in the raffle, something like that. I don't know. Uh-huh. You're a little ripper. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, guys. The lighting keep changing because it's a, it's a dull day outside and the weather keeps changing. So excuse the lighting, but still, I hope you're following the slang. I'm having a good time. I hope you are too. Let me know in the comment section if you're learning. Bush telly. Bush telly. It's a television in a bush. Yeah, bush telly or bush TV. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a bush- campfire. <laughs> Bush TV? Yeah. Well, you think in the house, you sit around the couch. Sorry, you sit around oh. the TV. You watch the TV on the couch. Yeah. And when you're out camping, when you're out in the bush. You sit around the fire. Sit around the fire and just watch the fire. Same. Bush TV? Yeah. Is that bush, still common? Bush telly. Um, to people that go camping, yeah. Okay. Mm. Bush TV. But tons of people don't go camping anymore. You know, camping's a bit of a... Camping is a what? It's a bit of a, it's not as, not as common anymore. No, 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 no. The word you used is a biver. Hmm? What a bit you... of a, that's a bit of a, and I paused. Oh, it's a bit over. People not are beaver. over it. I didn't say beaver. <laughs> 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 Guys, this is how our conversation are most of the time. <laughs> I'm like, what? Yeah. I say something, she misunderstands me and I have to explain. She, he does the same. <laughs> like, like the other day, funny story. Hmm. Uh, my mom, okay, Timo's dad was trying to tell my mom a story about a cow, a cow. Oh, a cow, yeah. And my mom was like, cow? <laughs> yes, we have kale in the garden, she says. I said, mama, do you, do you, have, um, do you have cows in, in the backyard uh, in Kenya still? You know? She goes, kale, yeah, kale and spinach and, you know, we have all, all kinds. I go, no, 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 a cow. And she goes, kale? I go, no, no, no. Cow. She goes, Kale. Kale. I go, <laughs> and I found her. I was outside. Yeah. So when I came Zippy in. comes back in and goes. I find my mom saying, Kale. No. no. <laughs> Ngombe. Ngombe, ma. Ngombe. <laughs> uh, 
when you're yeah water. you have a drink um the pronunciation mm -hmm. which is fine i don't yeah. mind it you know yeah. Uh, I've gotten used to repeating myself. Sometimes it <laughs> used to get frustrating when he yeah. doesn't understand me, but you get yeah. to we get we get used to the accent. Yeah. He's gotten used to my accent, I've gotten used to his accent. And Bob will also have to get used to my accent and his accent too. So uh, yeah, just cactus. I don't know. I don't know. So how would you Is, use that in a sentence? Well if the batteries if the batteries have died in a in your car? Well, if the batteries died in the car or if the batteries died in my phone or not. Mm -hmm. Batteries cactus. Hmm, mm. okay. Battery's yeah. dry, so it's dead. Yeah, cactus I guess. I don't, dry. I don't necessarily think of cactus as dry because you cut them open and they're full of water. No, I mean, like, they, they grow in the water, desert. But... Okay, yeah, I'm with you there. But, like, I get what you're saying, that the, their environment is dry. Yeah. <laughs> okay, but there you cactus. go. Cactus. Corker. If something corker, um, hmm, corker. It's how does you how do you spell corker? To start with, as in cork. C o c k. Yeah. C o c o r k. C o r k. Yeah. C o r k. With an a. Oh, corker. A corker, corker, corker. Mhm. Whichever. It sounds but, like a nasty word, though. No, it's um, most of it. Almost if it surprised you that it was so good, mate. It was an absolute corker. As in to remove the cork from a bottle where you celebrate. Ah. Yeah, it was a corker. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Because um, it's. Mm -hmm. Yeah. As a, as a corker, oh mate, it's a corker. Yeah, like it's it's a uh, cause for celebration. Yeah. Um, same as a perler. Absolute perler. Pearl. Like a pearl. It's. Oh, right. Yeah, like okay. a pearl. Yeah. Yeah. Like you would have in jewelry. Yeah. It's like saying it's a gem. Oof, it's an absolute gem. Hmm? So, is it the one for perler again? It's a. Well, it's a perler. Just nice that. Nice one. Oh, mate, it was a perler. Okay. Hmm. There you go. Um, I don't know where it comes from, but another one that, uh, you know, something that's good is a humdinger. A humdinger. Yeah. Like ding. Ah. Ding er. <laughs> yeah. A humdinger. You know, like. Um, I don't know what to think. <laughs> like, yeah. there's so many. <clears throat> yeah. Mm -hmm. My dad used to, if, if us kids were being silly, mm -hmm. um, <laughs> dad would call us gong bangers. Gong bangers. You know, the person, you know, maybe at old temples or whatever, mm -hmm. um, there's a person that bangs the gong. Mm hmm. But if you actually do that job, you'll end up deaf because it's just so loud up there. Like near the yeah. gong, bong, you, you bang the gong. Yeah. Um, yeah. So you'd have to be kind of crazy to do that job. You'd have to be somewhat, you know, a bit nuts mm -hmm. to just be the gong banger. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, that's another one I'm pretty sure is Australian. So why Maybe it's just my dad. I don't know. But <sighs> that'd be a gong banger. Don't be deaf. No, no. It's just this, you'd have to be silly to take that job. So. Oh, so you your know. dad's telling to tell you not to be silly. Yeah, not to be the gong banger, not to be that guy. <laughs> don't be that guy. Hey guys, don't be a gong banger. Please hit that subscribe button. Cranky is your upset. Yeah, cranky in a cranky mood, in a bad mood. Yeah. Angry or, I don't know if that's especially Australian. Are you cranky? I'm so cranky. I think it is. Cranky. When I was younger, mm -hmm. if uh, someone had a, a good engine in their car that mm -hmm. was, you know, quite made the car move quite fast, it mm -hmm. was a cranky engine. So, It's an angry engine? <clears throat> it's a yeah. noisy engine? Yeah. Okay. Um, crook. That's... Crook is a crook. I don't think that's all. Crook is a mad... Is a nut. You're nuts. No, no, no. It's crook. <coughs> crook. Like, I'm a bit crook at the moment. You're sick? Mm. Oh. Crook as in crooked. As in, you know. A, a crook person, I thought it's someone who is crazy. No, that's a crook. The Aussies uh, use the word in other ways as well. Okay. If you if you are crook, mm -hmm. well, you're sick. Okay, he's mm. a bit crook, by the way. Crook? Oh, you know, crook? you can be, yeah. Crook or crook? Crook, no, crook. R. Yes, or no. L. R. With an R. Yeah. And you can be, you know, mm, he's a bit crook in the head, this bloke. You know? Okay, like, oh, that makes a know? difference, yeah. He's a big crook in the head, that yeah. means you're crazy, mm. but if I'm a bit 
crook mm. like you are mm. is you're not feeling a hundred percent like you're a bit yeah. sick he's he yeah. has a cold a small cold. No, another one for that is green green mm. is that to say you're a bit sick yeah this is interesting because mm -hmm. <laughs> a dag mm -hmm. literally mm -hmm. is when sheep get poop in their wool and yet i think the americans call it dingleberries mm -hmm. and the sheep have like chunks on their butt ah right yeah I think but we, mm -hmm. if i say you're being a dag mm -hmm. it means that you're somewhat naive and like you you're not hurting anybody mm -hmm. and you're just a bit naive mm -hmm. um it's it's dag is a term of endearment for someone who's totally unself they're not self-aware mm -hmm. they're you know naive and, and um just being themselves mm -hmm. but they are maybe a little bit silly in an amusing way okay like, oh yeah. you tag you know uh have i had that one before yeah you, you must have <laughs> i think yeah. i have yeah. you dag oh you dag Wow, you know, okay. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like when yeah. someone's innocently naive. Innocent, yeah, like and, you're just living life without... Yeah, they're just living life. They're just... Yeah. Being, you know, you don't care. Dax. Yeah. Trousers. Is or that, is or that, under Dax. Under Dax are clearly... Underwears. Underwear. Under Dax. Well, underwears are called under Dax. Some people say under Dax, yeah. Is that common? Yeah. Sneak Knickers. That's English. Under ducks. Yeah. Yeah. Because they're white. Like, well, it's, I don't know. It's probably more so for what you would say to a kid. It's not. Oh. Now, pull your ducks up. Come on. Oh. You got any under ducks on? What are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> so, ducks is also trousers. Mm. Any kind of, you know, garment that goes on the lower half of your body. Because another one. Pull your ducks on. It's pants. Because. Mm. In Kenya, possibly, if you say pants, people think you're talking about your inner ways. Oh, okay. Well, that's yeah. Not so much here. So, Ozzy, if you say pants, it's yeah. your it's your trousers. Like, do you have any <clears throat> pants on? It's your trousers, not necessarily your under underwears. Mm. Like your under. Yeah. So yeah, dax. That's a new one, dax. Dax and under dax. I'm gonna start using dax instead of pants. Do you have yeah. some dax? I'm just looking for some dax when you go shopping. You know the ladies who come, what are you after? Oh, I'm, just, I'm just looking for some ducks and some under ducks. <laughs> They'll yeah, probably but, look at me like... Because, I mean, in, in Melbourne, mm -hmm. there's so many foreigners that they won't have a clue what you're no, talking no, no, about anyway. No, 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 I'll, 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 I'll see who <laughs> wait, I'm talking to. Wait if... and see when there's a, an Aussie yeah, about like, to serve you. Yeah, and especially the older ones. Yeah, oh yeah, the especially older the older ones. generation, absolutely. Yeah, because yeah. they're always up for a chat when they come mm, up to you. Yeah. Hey, how can I help you? Oh, I'm just looking for some dags and some <laughs> under dags if you have some. <laughs> I say it with such a smile and a grin on my face to see their reaction. Yeah, that'll be funny, don't Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that I will use for sure. Uh, dipstick. Dipstick. Uh, the list says idiot or loser. I thought dipstick is a lipstick. No, dipstick. It's, um, so, uh, in the bottom of the engine, mm -hmm. when the engine's turned off, mm -hmm. you have oil mm -hmm. that has to be up to a certain level. You have to have, you might need three litres or five litres or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. Um, <clears throat> you have a stick in the yeah, engine. That you do. That dips down into the oil mm -hmm. and you pull it out mm -hmm. And you see where the oil level is on the dipstick because mm -hmm. it literally is a stick mm -hmm. that dips into the it oil. Mm -hmm. And the dipstick just tells you how much oil, mm, if you need how to much, top yeah, up oil. Yeah, if you need to top up the oil, that's that's what it does. Mm -hmm. um, but somehow that became an insult in, in Australia. In the Aussie slang. So what, yeah. what does it mean, a dipstick? It probably means, <clears throat> it probably started out as a clean way of calling some. Yeah, you know what I mean, because... <laughs> yeah, a dipstick. Yeah, oh, you dipstick. <laughs> you, know? you know what? Even if I didn't know the <clears throat> meaning and you, you and did I, yeah, that... Yeah, if I called you a dipstick... Like you, the way you you'd did. You'd be insulted. I will be <laughs> insulted instantly. Yeah. It's just how... I think it's the tonation. Mm. You dipstick. Nice one, you dipstick. 
That's sure for sure an insult. I don't know that that's necessarily Australian, though. A deep I reckon I've heard that on an American movie. Well, I don't know, but anyway. it's an insult. Don't let anyone call you a dipstick because it's not nice. Mm. Uh, the next one's Dunny. Dunny is a toilet. Yes, Dunny is a toilet. It's actually a really old word. Um, yeah, bashing is something that is so bashing to your ears, like irritating. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, ear bashing doesn't take much um, explanation. Esky. SK <clears throat> is a container that you put your cold stuff in if mm. you're going camping or if it's a summer night and we've invited you guys for a mm. barbecue, a barbie. Mm. So you bring your SK with your um, SK with your with your gym beams and with your bander bags. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, you could put anything in it. You could put frozen meat in it or whatever. But oh, yeah. Came from uh, <laughs> the main brand. <laughs> Of so you're talking about cooler boxes mm -hmm. or you know whatever uh, yeah chiller box or a cooler box um, the main brand that was available um, in the 70s and 80s mm -hmm. was Eskimo. I kind of had a feeling that it's and yeah and just Eskimo. everyone just because there was 90 percent of the you know cooler boxes out there mm -hmm. were Eskimo brand. Mm -hmm. Everyone called them. People esky. just started calling them an esky, so then. <laughs> that's it. it just we just got homogenized um yeah you know uh, what that makes me rem like in kenya yeah it's common like um oops it's common it's very common to generalize things from something that is so common example yeah. like butter you know spreading your bread there's one called blue band and there's others but blue band is the most common one. Yeah. So every time someone is using butter or someone needs butter, they ask for blue band. Whether okay. it's they don't ask for the butter. They ask for blue band. Yeah, that's mm. me growing up. Maybe my different, you know. Okay. So if you want butter on your bread, you ask blue band. Whether mm. it's blue band or not, you don't care as long as it's. People know what you're talking spread. about. Yeah. This yeah. is a bit of an older generation. The younger generation don't really say this. Fair dinkum. Yeah, fair dinkum uh -huh. means absolutely true. Or if, if you're asking it as a as a question, mm -hmm. you're asking, "Is it true?" You know, fair dinkum, and then well, <clears throat> mm. okay. But you say it's for older generation. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, it's generally used by the older generation. Mm. <clears throat> not so much the younger. Yeah, you don't hear younger people using it. Mm -hmm. If someone is being uh, quite demanding, mm -hmm. let's go, there you go, mate. You know, like they're, you're asking them to be a little more lenient. Oh. Yeah. There you go, mate. You're asking them just. Slow down. Yeah, just ease it up a bit. Okay, yeah, I think it is self ex but I wouldn't have used it in like that, but mm. it's the same it's the mm. same meaning. And if I use it I wouldn't have used it as a like that? Yeah. Okay. But still mm. that's if you someone says they fair go, it's mm. they need a chance or just slow down. Yeah. It like, used to be our national motto, actually. Hmm? As it used to be on Australia's national motto. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Yeah, it was a fair go for all. The national motto when I was growing up, mm -hmm. it was a fair go for everyone. That's That was, you know, who, who we wanted to be as a country. No discriminating or anything, yeah. just a fair go for fair everyone. Fair go for everyone. Mm. Like, enough rope, mm. enough rope to hang yourself, but um, you'd kind of hope that <laughs> they they don't hang themselves, you know what I mean? yeah. Give, like give them fair opportunity to mm -hmm. to um, prove themselves. Yeah, fair e enough. Each and every person, I guess, don't be too quick to judge. And I yeah, 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 yeah. Which is that? That's how life should be. Mm. I mean, you should give everyone a chance. Yeah. Whether. Give them a chance to prove whether they're if they're a bad person, they're going to prove it right. And, you know, right yeah. and quick. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Everyone and everyone deserves a chance. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone deserves a chance. Yeah, before you judge them. So yeah. that's a good one. So it's no, it's no more in the. It you don't get you don't hear about it anymore. You just it's just it's gone. Yeah, you don't hear people say um, a fair go for all. I think it was a great motto to grow up with as our you know as our national motto. Mm. Yeah, I thought it was good. Mm. Um, yeah, so full, full. 
Um, being drunk. Fool, that's F-U-L-L. Yes, fool. I'm fool. Oh, well, no, I'm fool. Fool is a boot, mate. Fool is a tick. Well, okay, that's that's a bit different because fool means um satisfied. If I'm eating food, I'm full. Yeah. But I'm drunk. Yeah, means you're drunk. Mate, I was that full last night, I tell you what. <laughs> <laughs> if if I was having a conversation with you and you're telling me that, I'll think, mm -hmm. what did you eat? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're telling Aussie that. Mate, I'm green as buggery today. I was full as, full as a tick last night. As green as a buggery. Yeah. Guys, you see what I what I, what I live what with, every, with every, day? every day. <laughs> <laughs> as green as a buggery. Is Not that what a. You, uh -huh. Just as green as buggery. As green as buggery. Mm. What does that even mean? Because I was full as a tick last night. I was full as a gug. That's another one. <laughs> a a gug is an egg. A gug is an egg. I don't know how, but a gug is an egg. So I want to I wanna know. So G-O-O-G, -O -O like Google, Google. Okay, I'm confused.